We're back at the track, as you can see out here. We're going racing again. We're excited for this year. Hopefully we can uh, win some races or maybe come in the top 10 at least. There's my dad over there hanging out. Um, we're going to show you guys some in-star camera today. And we got about six cars here for the Sharp Mini Late Miles of Pennsylvania. We're very excited. And um, stay tuned for our warm-ups. I'm going to get ready here, get my stuff on, and uh, hit the track. you guys can hear me I mean it's so loud out here but we start second outside pole um, and hopefully we can keep going like I said we got six cars here tonight I'm just hoping to finish today top three finish would be great I know uh, Ken Pascoe over there thinks we should do better yeah uh, top three <laughs> would be great would be great to do today and then go from there um, hopefully the track comes to us it gets a little more tackier right now it's a little dusty and loose um, we may have to tighten it up before we go out, but we'll see if they throw water down before they have the heat races or not. Um, but until next time, I'll put you guys in the car. I forgot to put you guys in the car to start out, but I'm gonna throw my other GoPro um, in there and maybe you guys get some live action shots. If not, Ken Pasco's videotaping. videotaping. So let's cross our fingers. So as you know, we didn't get the heat race on film. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. It's bad, all right. We don't we don't have the heat race available. And let me just tell you, it was exciting. Um, we started on the outside pole, like I said, but then uh, apparently we were going green, and I wasn't ready. And uh, I went right to the right to the back. All six cars, sixth place, and. Uh, I recovered a little bit and I made myself all the way back up to third and catching the leaders but ran out of time. So hopefully we get back out there, we'll figure out when we go green and maybe the camera will actually work this time. Maybe? Yes. Hopefully. We will have the camera working this time. We will have the camera working. You heard it, you heard it from the man first. You heard it here. Okay. The camera will be working for this heat race. So, I mean, feature race. We'll start third um, and hopefully we can bring home a second place. Maybe a first. I'm, 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 I'm hoping for a first, but <laughs> you know what? There's tough competition out here, okay? So let's let's just try to bring the car home in one piece. You guys missed it, but we had a little damage on our car. I popped it out, fixed lost a couple out. bolts, fixed it up, but we're ready to go for the feature here. Probably for the next couple hours, probably an hour from now, mm -hmm. with all the weather going on. But stay tuned, guys. Hopefully you guys will see that. Hopefully Ken Pasco gets with the program. Yeah, it puts it on there.
What are you doing? Putting gas in there? Does that take gas or diesel? Hey guys, I know we're not at the track. It's uh, early Monday morning. Um, we didn't get to, we left the track, I guess, late uh, Saturday night. Um, and then we got home early Sunday morning. So I didn't, yesterday was busy. We, we had a bunch of family stuff going on. So I wasn't able to finish the vlog. But um, race recap real quick. We started third, right Maverick? We started third. Um, car was a little loose. We got spun out um, and then went all the way to the back of the pack. Made ourselves up to fifth and then um, we were fighting for fourth going to the checker flag. And I think a couple more laps we would have gained on the field again. Maybe got up to uh, fourth and third. But that's how racing goes. Some days you have great days, some days you have terrible days. But um, we're going to get looking at the car later today. I got to pull it out of the trailer and see. Our trailer's still sitting there. Our car's still inside. Big guys over there. And uh, she is cutting the grass. She's doing some work. But we did have a little bit of a... Uh, let me see if I can get in there real quick. We did have a little bit of damage this week. Let's see if you can see it's all still packed away. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the back where I got hit there got pushed in and then the bumper broke off should look like that side and it's missing now uh, I'm gonna try to try to get a welder in there and try to weld it back on there before we have to go buy a new bumper we'll see if I can weld it and figure that out um, if not we'll just get a new bumper um, I gotta fix these straps here on that side up top there too we got bumped in there, just bent them back out, but that's still good. And it looks like everything's still square in the back, like the axle, but we're gonna take apart the body off and take a look at it, because we, we got a little while for our next race. Our next race, not until, I believe, June 19th or 20th. So we've got a little while, it's only the first of June, so we'll be taking it apart, putting it in the garage again, do a little bit of maintenance on it. But I'm really happy with what we did this week and this year so far with uh, our adjustments and our new our new setup. What's up, Maverick? Huh? Yeah, the trailer. We're not going in there right now. But uh, we're going to we're going to take a look at it and go through there and then maybe we'll go to our practice in the coming weeks. Some of the tracks now in Pennsylvania are opening up, so hopefully we can get it out to our practice before our next race. Our next race will be at Bridgeport, New Jersey, um, Spirit Speedway. And um, as long as they're opened up, they should be, hopefully. Um, I know the COVID thing's starting to die down. States are starting to open. Hopefully, we'll be going racing there. If not, we'll be going to Cove View the fall the next day. That Saturday, so it'll be a Friday, Saturday thing. So until next time, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe. <laughs>